Hello YouTube. If that's where you're watching this, it's a recording of what was a live stream on Ustream TV. If you'd like to join in the live chat or be eligible for some upcoming giveaways uh, that I do for the people in live chat for this eye stencil sale today and tomorrow, you have to go to Ustream.tv, search Inky Obsessions and click follow. Then you can find the link to the uh, to the live chat to join us um, and you'll be notified when I go live and if you follow me anywhere in social media you'll see that I've posted um, the coupon code for this eye stencil sale and the link to the Ustreams and all the information so um, let me get my windows situated here Oh, Sophie, I hope you're, you must, a refresh will probably get you back online. So anyway, uh, just to go over the items, the uh, details of the sale for those who may have missed it yesterday. Um, the sale's good until Monday night at midnight Eastern. The promotional code is HOLIDAY25. And that gets you 25% off the entire eye stencil site. They have well over 3,000 designs, including mine. If you buy at least one of mine in a $50 order, you'll get a free stencil that looks like that. And here's an example of something we played with alcohol inks on um, Terra Skin paper using that stencil. You'll see that 3D undulating kind of pattern. It's really cool. Um, also, if your order is $50 or more, you get free shipping if you're in the United States. Um, they do ship international, and it's reasonable. Uh, I don't have the exact price. It depends your way to your order and your country, of course. But it is, I can tell you it is very reasonable. And if you your order is $75 or more, in addition to everything else, you'll receive a $10 free gift certificate to use toward a future purchase. And in addition to that, Sherry from My Stencils has given me uh, three um, $15 gift certificates that I'm going to give away on today's stream and three more for tomorrow's stream. We did three last night. And um, so it's a really generous sale. She's, she's added a few other components and a bigger discount this time. Hey, Tracy, welcome. I see somebody new join us for first time. Oh, yeah, these are great for um, my, my stencils. Actually, I designed to fit the 8x10. Uh, gel plate because that seems to be the most common one that most people have. Um, some of the other designs I'll be sharing are available in eye stencils and are included in the sale. They're not my branded designs and they don't specifically fit um, the 8x10 jelly plate, but they're certainly usable on a jelly plate. And we'll play with some of those. Um, so anyway, let's get this party started. Hey, Janet. Joan, Safia, Tracy, Mitz, um, who else? Did I? I think I saw Denise earlier, Kathy, Beanie, Jeannie Beanie, Carol. Yeah, there's quite a few on already. And Gail, who was one of the lucky winners last night. Yeah, last night it was um, Monique. Gail and Zandra that uh, won the, the um, and, um, that won the three fifteen dollar giveaways last night. So anyway, here's something we were playing with yesterday where I did watercolor on Upo like I've done all these many, many, many <laughs> watercolor oh I can't get my fingers to work. Um, like these luscious things that I've done before. I was like, okay, I got a million of these. What am I gonna do with them? So I was watching CC of CC's Creations, and she was doing watercolor on watercolor paper, then using my stencil to wipe back some of the design. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. So I started doing it on my Upo pieces. Here's one of the ones I can show you. Just another way to use your stencils where you use them to wipe back instead of putting, um, instead of putting uh, you know, your paint through there. This is watercolor on Upo and I laid the stencil over it once it was dry, wiped back the negative space and it left the imprint of this is 
my geometrics, uh, ge geometry mask, and these little circles and these long posts and stuff in here are the iron gate mask that I use. But it's just a different way to use a stencil, and that's what I did on this one. You can see the iron gate image over here. The, um, what is that called? River, river rocks river i forget what it's called i should know my own name with stencils but you'll find it and this is the geometry mask again where i pop little circles out of there but you just wipe it back and it's so easy to wipe watercolors off upo it, you can take it right back to white so the designs are really apparent doing that so i thought we'd do that with a couple other ones and um, these are just a couple of the prints we did yesterday this is one of my new one called 3d blocks uh, and this is another one called Nav Navajo Stacks. Kind of reminded me of a Navajo blanket. I got another one where they're offset that looks more like a blanket pattern. That's kind of a patina print with that. Um, and this one, this first one was kind of a fail where I put, oh, it's stuck to my jelly plate. <laughs> this is Terraskin paper. It's much like, hey, Dorothy. Hey, cat. It's much like um, uh, Yupo paper. It's flimsier, and it's made out of rocks, if you can believe it or not. It is made out of rocks, and it's non-porous. Therefore, it works with alcohol inks. Um, so the first one I did was I smeared, I put alcohol inks in blending solution and blew it around with my, my uh, heat gun on cool. And just let it dry and then I came back later with the free stencil here it is all gooped up with my alcohol inks already and tried to wipe it back I tried one side using alcohol and one side using blending solution I thought it would lift like this it did not you can barely see the image in there you can see it but it is a ghostly image for sure then I did a different one the way I've you might have seen me done it done it in the past hey Jane um, where I took a piece of tear skin or UFO, this is tear skin, sprayed it with alcohol just to get it wet and then laid the stencil down. And the reason I do that is, is it kind of draws a suction. It keeps, rather than this just floating around and moving dry on the paper, it kind of makes this stick a little bit in place. It doesn't glue it down. It just kind of draws a suction to it. Then you take alcohol inks and just drop it in the holes randomly and it will immediately spread underneath of the stencil. Hey, Laurie. Hey, Carol. But um, it will also stay in the frames for the holes of the stencil. And you can see this is the result. It looks like a watercolor background. And this is where the alcohol inks mix with the wet alcohol under and in between here underneath the, uh, the stencil itself. But you can see a more crisp image doing it this way. Not so crisp here. Trying to wipe it back. But crisp there. I might, you know what? I might do some you uh, might do some alcohol inks on Upo, and then I'll test to see if it's the Terra Skin. versus Upo, or if it's just alcohol inks aren't going to work like it does to lift off watercolors. We'll play with that. Actually, let me get one of those started now, so we got some drawing time. Oh Lord. Um. <clears throat> Hey, Eileen. CB. Warming up my hands on my heater. It's cold down here today. It's snowing in Maryland. We're only supposed to get like one to three here. Um, and I don't think it's going to lay on the roads. I think the roads are too warm, but it'll lay on the grass. But about, let's see, an hour and a half from here in Salisbury, Maryland, which is over the Bay Bridge and closer to the ocean, they've got already five to eight which is really weird for there usually they don't get that many that much snow there closer to the ocean it kind of keeps them a little bit warmer than normal um what did i just say oh you pack telling you squirrel where is my UFO? Work with me. Let my fingers work. 
Oh, that's the last piece in that pad. That's not good. All right, now I'm just going to throw some uh, alcohol inks and blending solution on Yupo, let it dry, and I'm just going to grab the few that I have here that I was playing with yesterday. Um, plug in my heat gun. You can't use your heat gun on high on this paper. You will melt it. It is like, even though this one's, no, this is plastic. This is Yupo. The one with the rocks, I don't know if that would warp or not. Let's not try it right now, shall we? All right, let me get some of these lids off here. This will dry pretty quickly. And then we'll just do that little experiment before we get rolling on a jelly plate. Happily we go! So, ladies, the ones that you were on with me yesterday, welcome, happily we go. It's Aaron, correct? Aaron? I get, I'm so bad with names. I know the screen names, but I'm so bad with the real names. But I think it's Erin. And Erin is the lovely lady that I got these um, watercolor, handmade watercolors, by the way, that I was telling you guys about. Um, and Erin, uh, please feel free to put your link up there. Uh, I got links open. You can share your link for where people can buy your watercolors because these people love some watercolors. Um, I haven't even opened this set yet. It's been... Ugh, it's been crazy, but this is called the Galaxy Set, and they are yummy. The Galaxy Gray has a little bit of sparkle in it. You can see that on the um, swatch, but this is how they're presented, and I got a couple little uh, dot cards with other, I was going to say other flavors, <laughs> other colors to try in these little tins, and here, oh, this one's empty because I had them, I used them yesterday when I made that, um, watercolor that we wiped back. Hang on, let me find my, uh, where the hell did I put them? Oh, here they are. There we go. These are the four colors that were in her Woodlands set. Oops, look out, alcohol ain't going everywhere. Oh, wrong one, hang on. But these are really sweet. These, this is the Woodland Swatch card. They're three metallics. The, the green is not a shimmery metallic color, but the other ones are. And they come in half pans. They're labeled and a little magnet on the side. And um, a nice full pan, and they re-wet really nicely. These are really awesome quality watercolors. And I'm going to do, when I get over this eye stencil sale and can go back to concentrating on watercolors, I'll do a more proper uh, demo of these because they deserve it. But anyway, um, I don't know if I walked away from my desk to get these. I don't know if Erin put up her link or not. But it's Happily We Go on Instagram. And uh, look her up. <laughs> All right, what were we doing here? Let me put down some, how do I want to do this? Let me get this out, put that on low, so I have that ready, at the ready. Put some of this down, and let's throw some of these in, just randomly, don't care. Where they go? Oh, look, turquoise and purple. How did that happen? It's so random, isn't it? So random. This is a new one called Patina. And this one's called Slate. And let's just blow these around a little bit. I'm not worried about making anything spectacular. I just want to get them on here and get them dry to see if they'll lift off the UFO. Just another one of my mad scientist experiments. <laughs> I know, CB, right? I mean, how did they get in my stash, those colors? I never use them.
I've been watching an artist I found on uh, Instagram doing alcohol inks on canvas. <laughs> Trying to remember her name. Um, Je uh, is it Jennifer Young? Jennifer Young? Let's think about that. There you go. There's there's Aaron's shop. Happily we go. So you guys check her out. I'm sure after her first launch, when she does more colors, they're gonna uh, they're gonna sell out pretty quickly. I know I'll be elbowing my way to the front of the line. <laughs> okay. All right, that's dry. Dry enough. Hey, Lynn. Who else is on here? Kimberly. Thanks for joining, guys. Did everybody get the uh, coupon code for eye stencils? If you want to, don't feel like you have to buy stencils. If you want to buy stencils, use this code. It's good till Monday night at midnight. It's holiday 25. You'll get her. I like to show this every once in a while because people come in and out of chat. And I don't want anybody to miss the purpose they're here for. Holiday 25 is the code. You get 25% off the entire uh, eye stencil site, way over 3,000 different designs. If you buy at least one of mine and your order is $50 or more, you'll get this free stencil um, and free shipping in, if you're in the U.S. And if your order is $75 or more, in addition to those perks, you'll get a $10 gift certificate to use against a future purchase. And uh, during the stream today, I'm going to do a giveaway of three $15 gift certificates um, that can be used for toward future purchases, not uh, separate from this offer. But that's, you know, that's a lot, uh, a bigger discount and more perks there that, that um, uh, Sherry has given me this time. You know what, this is one of the... Um, I, I'm also demoing some of the eye stencils and some of the badass stencils that are on her site today, um, in addition to my new designs. For those of you who don't know, I was kind of laid up for a while um, with a pinched nerve. My right arm and hand were kind of like just kind of a club oh, for a while. Now I've finally, uh, it's been almost two months now, I guess, um, working to get that resolved and... Um, I had a steroid epidural in my neck a week and a half ago, and that's really helping me a lot. I have another one on the 20th. So, um, I don't know how long I'll last, but you know what? Let's try the mermaid tails on this one. This is a previous design of mine, but let's, uh, let's have a go, shall we? You got to be mindful when you're do when you do this wiping it off. You're always I always concentrate on what's in the design of the stencil, but when you wipe it back, that's the part you're going to lose. So if there's something really special in here that you like, make sure it's under the protective plastic of the stencil, or you will wipe it goodbye. So I'm trying to position because it doesn't necessarily need to be framed. I'm not going to use this as a eight and a half by eleven piece of Upo necessarily. Yeah, thanks, Gail. I'm telling you what, it was debilitating pain for a while till they got it, got me on the um, the nerve uh, pain meds, gabapentin. I ended up in the emergency room when my, I had the pain real bad, saw my doctor on a Friday, sent me for an MRI on a Monday. By Sunday, Saturday night really, my right hand was like dead, numb. From, from here, my forearm around like this and these three fingers were gone I could I mean it felt like I was typing with a baseball mid on like I was using a club and uh, dropping things and it was dead numb and when she called me Monday and got the MRI results she said uh, you gotta go to the emergency room now so I did and then they admitted me uh, to rule out um, they thought it might have been metastatic breast cancer that spread into my 
brachial plexus nerve bundle causing the issue. But by the next day, they ruled that out. And they missed me again. <laughs> so wait a minute. This is alcohol ink. I gotta pay attention. I gotta st stop yapping and pay attention. What the hell I'm doing? Uh, let me try this with the blending solution. I'll give it this a fair shake like I did the other one. Because the other one I tried to wipe back. I used the blending solution. It did nothing on the Terra skin. And then I tried alcohol. It did nothing. Well, very faint. I'll show you. Oh, there we go. That's working better. It's the paper. So there you go. And now I'm not going to wipe it all off. I want some color in there. So let me switch to alcohol. See what effects the alcohol has. I think it'll be the same. Let me spray some alcohol on there. Yep. So it's the paper. Isn't that interesting? This is why I do these experiments for you. Yeah, I know, Gail. I, I, I've had four um, <laughs> four recurrent episodes this year. They're still watching, too. I have a couple small nodules on my right lung, and I have one in my kidney, my right kidney. But they think the kidney is a cyst, and they think, well, the, right, the lung nodules haven't, didn't change from March to July. So they're going to scan again in, I think, February and look at those again just to make sure they're staying static. Um, but you can see that did lift off, and as opposed to, where's that blob on my, here's the Terraskin paper where I tried the same thing, and you can see the very faint shadow of the stencil. So it is the difference in the paper, and I was trying to tell you guys last night the difference in the, this is so floppy, and this is more stiff, and it's not so much the weight of the paper, it's just the nature of it. So what do you know? There you have it. Um. <sighs> Sorry, guys, I got to check something, make sure everything goes steady. Oh, oh, oh. Chelsea sent pictures of Owen on Santa Claus's lap, and he is, he is not a happy camper. Look at that face. Not having it. I want my Aunt Pappy. I don't need Santa Claus. So, um,. You know what I try, I thought I'd try I have I don't think I sprayed um varnish on this one. So this one's still liftable. This is an old watercolor um that I did on UPO when I first started doing those things. So let me try to find one of my new here's some of my oh uh -huh. <laughs> I, because I've been laid up, well, I started to tell you, I'm telling you, I'm like, I got the attention span of a gnat. Um, I didn't get to um, design as many new ones as I normally do because I couldn't basically use my arm for a couple of months. So um, that's one of the reasons why Sherry broadened the, the, um, you know, the, the perks of the sale and stuff. But anyway, uh, this is one of the ones that you saw that this is one of the pulls from that from yesterday. I guess the Navajo stacks. There's a mask. Um, this one's called Curtains Outline. I did a stencil that's the reverse of this. So it's really cool when you have a, a mask and a stencil of the same design and you use them side by side to see what the difference are. And when you receive the masks, that's hard to say, masks. Um, they come... Uh, with this little uh, thing on here to identify. It's got the name and the number on here, but that's not part of the design. And it's on here by hair thin plastic tabs. I don't even know if you can see them, but you need to cut those off. Don't try to tear them off. You will rip the stencil. The plastic's really sturdy and it will not break off. It's not like a perforated thing where you zip it off. You have to cut those off. 
just be aware of that. Don't go screwing them up. The varnish that I use, um, Aaron, is, um, I'll show you, I can't. It's Kmar by Krylon. This is awesome stuff. They have a matte and a gloss, I believe. Hang on, am I right? Well, maybe this isn't the one. Maybe this is just what it is. Because I don't see this saying gloss or matte on here. It's more of a matte finish. But anyway, you can see right on here it says for watercolor. So you can you spray it on and it does not re-wet and move the watercolor, even on the Upo that's so slippery. Where you know the watercolor just lays on top of that. It doesn't sink in like it does on watercolor paper. Um <clears throat> it doesn't uh you know sink in the cotton. It just lays on top and it's if you spray anything on it, water, um, or um whatever, anything other than that varnish it will reactivate it and it'll start moving again. So that's what I do on those. If I screw something up or I don't like the way it's laying, I'll just re-wet it and shuffle it around and it'll move. Um, and this is another one of the grapes versions. This is the one I call Navajo Blanket. It's the stacks, but it's... And then you can repeat the pattern if you're doing something large. Can you even see it? Let's do that. All right, so you can re you can see it's a repeatable pattern where you could just lay another one down and and cover a large area should you have any desire to do that. Here's a different diverse uh, different version of mermaid tails, all different sizes, and I showed you that one already. And then Sherry sent me some of the um, I'll show you these real quick, some of the eye stencil designs and. Um, they have a line of stencils on there. Oh yeah, it's it's really nice, um, Aaron. It's really good. Hey, Kathy. How are those grandkids? Um, these are some of the eye stencil designs that um, Sherry sent me. These are a different size than mine. These are actually larger than the 8x10 jelly plate. But mine are made for the jelly plate. Hers, theirs are not necessarily, but certainly can be used for anything you'd use a stencil for. But there's some fall leaves. Let's we're gonna get the jelly plate out and play with some of these babies. Oh look, Jean. There you go, there's one for Jean. Hey well enough. And a cool kind of a, just a graphic design, a swirly one. Actually, I think I had this one in my stash I showed you guys last night. <laughs> and that one I know I did. Well, at least I'm consistent with what I like. There's a cute sun face. They have all kind of designs, just random background stuff. These are, this is one of the repeatable ones. And you can see where it's got, um, See the guidelines there for you to know where to overlay if you're going to repeat that design. That's how the repeatable ones work. That would be cool, cool for a little pop of black and a jelly print. Another 3D-ish one. It's kind of a quilted, wobbly 3D effect. I have this one too. Good lord. Um, you can see the 3D effect of that. It looks like blocks and you're, um, when you lay that over something, it's really cool. Good Lord. I have that one too. So these are all on the eye stencil side, on the eye stencil site on the left margin. There are categories that say like, um, I don't know, design backgrounds and shapes and, uh, which one says like nature objects maybe symbols there's all different categories and when I was telling everybody last night and I do this every time I go on there there's so many stencils to choose from if you see something you like put it in the shopping cart you can always go back and get rid of it um, but it's easier to do that than to try to go back and find it again 
trust me, I get buried in those menus and you will be less likely to rip out your hair if you just throw them in there, get to the end of your shopping spree, go back and, and narrow down your favorites, right, and get rid of the ones that you don't want. But these are the uh, badass. That's one of the artists on there is, um, I think her name is Andrea. I don't remember. Um, but she has some really cool designs and all. And most of hers have this raw edge. Like this is one of hers. This one here that I've had this one for years. Um, that I bought a while back. But see how the outside edge is usable for design as well as the design on the inside. It's not just a square stencil. The whole thing is, is um, usable. And here's some more of hers. You'll find all these under the badass subtitle on the on the or cat uh, drop down on the uh, on the site. We played with this one last night. This one is a city skyline. Let me get my. Let's do it that way. There we go. You can see the uh, negative skyline and the positive skyline. Or is that backwards? Yeah, this is the negative. This is the positive one. And then little pieces that go with it. Different window shapes that you can use these. This isn't a stencil you'd use in a jelly print, to, a jelly plate. Um, hey, Linda. You wouldn't use this on your jelly plate to make a print, right? It, it looks like, well, what is what is that about? But what this is, hey, Amalia, um, is the skyline. And then you can overlay these little bits that are open here for window designs for the different shape buildings. Here's a helicopter and a beam of light, like the helicopters, you know, using the beam of searchlight, a moon, full moon, a crescent moon, um, and just little odd shapes that you can use to overlay on these buildings. So that's how to look at some of these stencils. They're not all made for the jelly plate, believe it or not, but you can use them there for sure. This one, I showed this one to Zandra. I knew she'd be all over this. Uh, we used this last night. This one's coral, a shark and a diver, and different kinds of fish. But you can see the edge of the stencil is different kinds of coral, as well as the design on the inside. So I think they're pretty, pretty brilliant. Little winter mittens. These are, she has a whole series, the badass minis, called BAMs. And that's just one little BAM. So if you do little small pieces or cards or just need a little design here and there, these are really cool and they're, of course, much cheaper because uh, it uses less plastic. And here's some of the ones they call hot wings. Steampunky one, swirly one. Here's another one. This one's called buckshot. And uh, so they're pretty cool different, very different. Um, and all these qualify in the, in the sale price or well, the whole site does. So don't be confused about that. <coughs> all right. I think what I will do is, um, go ahead and maybe wipe this one back. This is watercolor and Yupo. And let's try that with what see this one i really like this design but it's going to take so much off well you know what let's do this for shits and giggles as we say let's do it this way and if i don't like this if it took too much off and it doesn't make sense once i remove this we'll do something else over here how about that all right let me get my um a baby wipe and my baby wipes are kind of juicy and that can be a problem doing this because if you can imagine as you wipe and put pressure on this the moisture in the baby wipe is going to catch on all these edges of the design and puddle in there and once they do that it's going to leave a blob and you're not going to get as crisp a design um, as you would like I have some paper stuck to the back of this one. Last time I used it, I let it sit on the jelly plate many moons ago too long, and it sucked off the paper. <laughs> Great. Um, so I'm going to let the, the edge of this stick out here so you can see what that, how that acts. 
but I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to roll my um, baby wipe in it a little bit and pull out some of that excess moisture so I don't have a little puddle going on. I just want to see all that extra moisture came out of there. I can even use this to wipe it. Actually, maybe I'll use this. Three Stooges fan. Can't help it. Excuse me. Uh, what color is it? Yeah, anything on the iStencil site applies to this coupon code sale. The whole, the entire site. Anything she sells on there. There's different designers. There's the, the brand, the iStencils brand that I just showed you. The Badass is one of the designers. KP, if you guys know KP, Kristen Powers, her whole line is out there. She's got some really cool designs. You know, the Moon and the Maker, KP. If you like celestial stuff, go check her stuff out too. But all that's included on this site, not just mine. The only thing particular to mine on here is that you get my free one if you spend $50 and at least one of the ones you're buying is one of mine. So, um, yeah, we share the love. We don't make you just buy just mine for the fee. You can get whatever you want. That's how Sherry rolls. Okay, let's get less talk and more wiping. I don't know if this is wet enough, but we'll try it. And I may have sprayed this. Oh, you know what? I think I did. <laughs> yeah, see that? It's not coming off of there. I already sprayed this one, so that's how good that varnish works. <laughs> Let me find another one. Hang on. Surely there's another one I haven't wiped back. Oh, here's, let's try this. I probably didn't waste varnish on this one because I wasn't too wild about this design. So, we shall see. Let's try. I might have sprayed this one too. Nope, I didn't. See the difference there? It starts wiping back right away. And you turn the baby wipe. So you're not just swirling the dirty paint. Get a clean piece so you're lifting it off. These little holes are hard to get in there. But it makes a really cool print. So let's try to do this around the edge here. So you can see how the edge of this works as part of the design as well. And some of it, I don't necessarily want to wipe it all off to white. You know, I can, but sometimes it's more interesting if you just have um, some color back there and the open bits instead of, all right, let's see what we got. Hello, lover. Look at you. Now, let me blot this because there's some little puddles on the edges of some of the designs. There you go. Isn't that cool? It's really cool where the metallic was and it wiped back and you can see like that design really is more pronounced now. It wasn't just a blob of metallics. You can see that. Even the little bits of the stencil got wiped back some. And see the outside, the whole design out here on the edge of the perimeter. This one, um, Aaron, these are watercolors, actually. These are watercolors on Yupo on this one. But as you saw, if it's Yupo, the alcohol inks will work as, as well. Isn't that cool? I think I'm going to use that over here, too. <laughs> uh, hello. Let's see. I'm going to use this side. This side has quite a bulbous edge over here, and it's going to force me to lose a lot of that if I'm going to show that. Let's go with this smaller design here. Let me get another baby wipe. Squeeze a little bit of that schmutz out of there. I know, right, Erin? <laughs> Since you make your own watercolors, that's even better. Yeah, you have to go back and look at some of my older videos. Uh, they're recent. But some of the previous ones uh, to the eye stencil sale uh, that I, well, it's probably over there over a month ago at least because I've been laid up. But um, um, yeah, and you can see how I did that. But um, 
basically I just swap them on there and they just do their own thing because they don't sink in. They lay up and have a little dance. Uh, the colors push each other and um, it's really organic. That's the word I was trying to think of last night. <laughs> that I was slipping my mind. Organic, not abstract. Yep, so there you go. You know, and you don't have to use this as one design. I mean, you can cut it up, use little bits of this on a, in a collage or on a, on a canvas, on a card. They would make really pretty cards if you cut, you know, Diane, uh, Dina Wakely, how she talks about her puke on a page where you, um, let me grab this, where you take just a little bit of any part in there and it becomes like its own little, own little work of art. You know, just about anywhere you put this. The little bits are pretty cool. And if you grab some of the edge. So, you know. Oh, mercy. Here we go. Look like a Smurf already. That's okay. I do it for you. Oh, this is... Um, so there you go. Let's see. How many people do we have here? 34. Let's... Um, what am I? 45 minutes in. Let's do um, let's do the drawings while we have some people here, right? So um, what I'm going to do is everybody um, yeah, right, Lynn. You can go over this with a pen, you know, like a white gel pen. Or, or whatever and do some doodling in those open spots or in the outlines of the design that would be stunning <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to type ready set go in the chat don't enter any numbers until you see the word go come from me in chat if you do put numbers in before that I'll have to disqualify those because I, I need to have it where I can judge it fairly. I can't let, you know, people randomly throw stuff in before and after I start. So when I type in ready, set, go, enter your number one to, there's 33 on. Let's do one to 50. Number one to 50, your number has to be either the exact number I pick or the closest without going over to win. And I'm going to use that same set of numbers for three different drawings, right? So we'll, you guys are, are each going to put in one number after you see me put in go. And then when I put in the word stop, no numbers after that will count into the drawing. But I'll give you plenty of time to do that. There's a, I know there's a delay. There's probably a 30 to 45 second delay. So what I'm saying now, you're not going to hear until uh, probably 40 seconds from now. So for those of you who not, um, okay, I see somebody said there's, and Molly said there's a commercial. I'll wait a couple seconds for that commercial to pass before I, um, before I type it in the chat. But then when we do that, what I'll need you to do, if you win, I need you to email me your email address so I can send it to Sherry. And then Sherry will send you an online gift certificate for $15 for eye stencils for you to use towards a future purchase. And we're going to do three of those today. We did three last night. We'll do three again today. Um, so, okay, hopefully the commercial's done. So I'm going to type into chat now. You're going you're gonna to see it sooner than I say it. There's the damn lag. Uh, Sparkles, put your number in again, please, after the word go. 1 to 50, guys. Kimberly, you're over. One to fifty. Seventy-five, Joan, you're over. The number should be one to fifty. One to fifty. And keep putting your numbers in. I'll give you time to re-enter the ones that, that went over fifty. 
re-enter a number under 50 or under. And then when you see me type the word stop in chat, none of the numbers after that are going to count. Right? Okay, I'll give you a few more seconds. There you go. Thanks, Kimberly. Let me go to random.org. Okay. Now we'll stop. Okay, so here's how this works. It's just an online an on a site where you put in your number spread. I'm going to put in 1 to 50, right? And it's going to generate a random number, which is number 14. So now we got to go back in chat from the beginning where I said go and look for 14. I got CB's got 12. Oh, P. Cola Arts got 14, and she was the first one. So, right. Yep, she was the first one to put in 14. Yes, only one number, Aaron. So, P. Cola Art, email me. I'm going to put in my email address. Email me here. I just put it in chat. And um, I'll forward that to, um, to Sherry. So now we're going to do another one. We're going to just draw all three of them right now. And we'll generate another one. 42. Now let's go back and see who's got the first 42 in there after I said go. Go. 43. Beanie just missed it. Uh, what did I say? 42. 44. Inky is over. 42! Is that Linda Freyer? Yep, Linda. Right? All right, let's go number three. Here we go. 12. Back up to my word go. Here we go, and let's look for 12. CB, you're it, baby girl. CB got 12. Hey, Jen. Okay, so congratulations, P. Cola, Florida Linda, and CB. That's the day two winner. So, um, CB and Linda, I have your email. So, P. Cola, I just need your email. All right, that takes care of those for now. And, um, this is a piece of scrap that I cut off. I mounted this other, the rest of this, I mounted and um, on a board and trimmed it in that watercolored um, corrugated cardboard at the top and bottom. And this is where I laid gauze and I did the abstract watercolor on um, Upo with some metallics and then I laid gauze in it and let it dry. Remember this? There we go. And I have this strip. Um, I'm going to wipe that back. I don't think that's... Oh, you know what? I bet it's got... Um, no, I can't. It's got uh, what you call it on it. Varnish. That damn varnish works so good. <laughs> All right. Let's get out the jelly plate and play with that a little bit. Okie dokie. Let me play with some of these uh, eye stencils. Some of these are really cool. If anybody has any requests of colors or designs that they want to see, 
let me know. I'll be happy to show you. I'm just going to do these to show you how they how they look printed. This was always one of my favorites. Hey, Sandra. Um, I'm just going to leave this gunk on here because it'll pick up kind of cool. And let's put down some colors. I don't have any colors out here. And I'll let you take a wild guess at what they are. <laughs> but I do have. Anybody want to take a guess? Well, something a little different, yeah. Let's just, let's mush these hot colors around. Eileen wants to use green. Of course she does. Actually, I'm going to do those musical notes for Jean in green. I'll just use some hot colors. have too much damn paint on here I'm telling you I used to sit up here till all hours of the night jelly plating and I literally have reams and reams and reams of prints so um, I'm really pushing myself to, to jelly plate anymore uh, oh hell and this sprayer is about uh, Got a good bit of layers on there. That's alright. We'll try to try to work with what we got. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So my camera must be crooked. Hang on to your lunch. Wait a minute. There we go. All right, let's see what we get out of this mishmash. Oh, Lord. Oh, that looks like Raku. That over that metallic over here. Oh, you know what? I think I used to use this on my bigger jelly plate. I don't think this, this isn't all going to fit. But it'll fit enough that you can get the gist of what you're looking at, I think. I think so. I'm doing this on deli paper. I'm more apt to use the deli paper. Unless I'm printing to make my little note cards that I used to do with my stencils. Remember those? But I had so much. I would I would jelly print on cardstock, and then I I'd, I'd cut it up. And that no, there's no PBO in this one, Janie. That was a um the yellow is just a Master's Touch deep yellow acrylic, nothing fancy there. But isn't that wild how 3D that looks? And it's just a piece of paper, but it does look 3D. Let me lift some more of that out. Yeah, isn't that cool? So now if anybody wants the numbers off of a particular stencil, let me know. Like I said, there's so many on the iStencil site for their brand. And they're under categories uh, like shapes, nature, symbols, background. So, I mean, this could be a background. That could be a shape. Uh, you know, it could be, it could fall under various categories. And it, to me, it's a little tricky to go back and find that. So if you want the number... That's just the ghost print. If you want the number of any given stencil that I'm using, please let me know and I'll be happy to share that. Otherwise, it just becomes uh, kind of cray-cray trying to um, show every number. But this was always one of my favorites. I'm going to just plop that on here. Put that thing up on there. Sure. 
and there's the reverse. Isn't that cool? Mama Lakey. Yes, I do. And this will make a really cool, um, crispy, crispy. Ah! What do we call them? Crunchy? No, not crunchy. Crusty bits. That shows you how out of the loop I am. I can't even remember what the hell we call it. But, um, we'll do a cleanup print. That'll make a really cool, uh, a lot of designs are going to be hidden in that with all that dried, uh, dried paint on there. This one's kind of cool too. I like this one. Let's do something with that. Shall we? Put something, oop, a little something dark in there. I'm trying to learn not to squeeze so much paint out. I always waste paint. Let's just do that. See where we end up. And I just flip my roller in all different directions to get the uh, paint mixed up a bit. Oops, I lifted off too much. I'm telling you. Lost my neck. <laughs> Let's see what that one looks like. I love circles. Oh, you have this one, Jean? Uh, yeah, I like this one too. I actually found I had it in my old stash where I bought it years ago. When I first got started with eye stencils, I used to just, Sherry would send me product and I would demo it for her. Then she asked me if I would design for them. So, that one even looks 3D. Let's put that over here. And I'm not going to make, I'm not going to print like I usually print, where I try to consciously make good choices for how I'm going to layer designs. I just want to show you how these look printed. Pat, I still have that. I'm <laughs> when there's a thousand sheets of that, Jean, that deli paper, I years ago I sent um, Jean a box of the deli when it first we st first started getting it and finding it down here at Sam's. I sent her a box of a thousand sheets. That's what she's talking about. That she's still using it. Um, I'm just going to use this. I was using this as a kind of a blot sheet last night. It's just got little bits and the stuff that's still kind of wet on there that didn't pick up. I'm just going to use that to pick it up. This will probably end up being my favorite. <laughs> they usually are. Let's see. Where's the musical notes? Musical notes. I don't know if you ever saw this one, Jean, because there's, like I said, there's so many. designs on there. I don't know if you were here when I showed this one before. So let's do that one in greens. For Jean greens. Green. And Jean's favorite. I remember how fast Orly used up her box. <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> That's a different story. Find a darker green, perhaps, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, this is kind of a, yeah, that's maybe a blue green. I don't know. That might be, that might go horribly wrong. Mm. We'll see. Patty needs to go back to the mosaic tile. <laughs> I know, Linda. I um, you know, I had somebody call me from an art uh, gallery here locally. Not call me; they contacted me through uh, my Etsy shop and wanted to talk to me about carrying some of my tile pieces in their shop. Um, I told her with you know with my issues I'm having now that I they're so labor intensive I can't really 
you know, they take hours and hours to make the tiles and then design a piece and then put the piece together. You know, it takes forever. And um, um, another thing is, and I've talked to other stores before that wanted to carry stuff, but for me to get just my cost out of it, God forbid the labor of 10 to 12 to, when I do some of those document boxes, um, I mean, to make all the tiles and then design it and line it with the papers and do all the shopping to find the bits that match the theme and all that stuff, I bet you there's 20 hours of labor in it. You know, by the time I get what I need out of it, and then they have to mark it up to sell it to, who's going to pay that much for a box or a wall plaque? You know, that's the problem. And I can't, my time's too precious with working the, the hours that I work um, to take the time to do something like that and just, and give it away. Uh, it doesn't, it wouldn't make sense for me to do that. Here's your musical notes. With some little PBO shimmer in there. I'm just going to use this as a cleanup for those little bit of bits in there. I know it's it, Linda. It's too. It's they take so long to make. Um. That it's uh. You know, they got to be free. Precious gift. Or for yourself to be worth it. The reverse of that is cool with the... I'm showing in white. Oh, dee -dee -dee. Let's pick up some of this. The wetter bits there. I was showing you guys some of this um, really open uh, stencils that I had in, in my stash that make a good... See how cool that one's starting to look? Again, with the Dina Wakely puke on a page bit, if you take any little bit of that, it looks really cool. You don't have to have, you know, you dig. Oh, shoot, Tracy. Sorry you had problems downloading that. Yeah, most people have better look with Chrome and then they can add that blocker thing. Um, you know what? I'm going to use this just to show you. Um, how cool this can look. Let me grab this one back again. Because there's nothing that fancy about this. This was just the reverse pickup of that one with the dots and the donuts in it. So, right, there's, there's I mean, like, so what? It's turquoise paint, paint on paper. Like, not a big deal. Let's see if we can pull that back with something this simple. With a little pop of black. Where's my black? And we'll see what that does. These Amsterdam jars really are hard to shut. <laughs> Which I never noticed before, but with my bum hand, I'm finding a lot of things are harder than they used to be. So, all right, let's do this. I think these are 12 by 12. You can see there's a whole row off the... Um, off the plate here but now you can see the 3d look just laying it over there right where it looks like there's blocks there's 3d blocks so let's let's do that over here is that mojo coming down with me hon mojo come here baby come over here with mommy come on lay down on mojo's bed go ahead come here no daddy's going back upstairs we have a um our christmas tree 
is a pre-lit one. And Dave brought it up and set it up last week for me. And two of the sections lights were out. So he was working on it to fix them. He got one set working, but he has this electronic tester. Um, and it makes a tweeting sound that Mojo is not happy about. Put the stencil down backwards. What are you talking about? You put the stencil backwards. There isn't a front or a back. It's the same. It's the same on both sides. What do you mean? Oh, the treble clef. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't worrying about that one. I did the clean. One had to come up. One had to come up right. I did the reverse print. So one of them's got to be right. <laughs> so see what I mean? It just makes that look 3D. On that plain old piece of nothing. I mean, you pull a little strip of that off and put it in a, in a collage. That would look pretty cool. Right? So, let me pick up. He's trying to stick with you, hon. Anyway, he's tr Dave's trying to get Mojo to stay down here with me so he can work on the other set of those lights and don't, doesn't spook him. He said it sounds like our... Um, smoke detectors. I wasn't here when he was doing it, but that loud chirp, it must hurt Mojo's ears. Um, right, yeah, one of them has to be correct. <laughs> um, so, oh, it's still snowing pretty good. Dave opened the back door to let Mo out down there. I can see outside. That's just a ghost. That doesn't look very good. Ignore that print. But you know what? Let's do this one. Let's see if I can do a um. Let's see if I can do a uh, patina print on this. I don't know if there's enough black on there to pull it off. Go back in. Let's see. Yeah, maybe not. Let's try it anyway. Just cleaning off the back of that stencil over here. And let's try it. I move fast enough before this is too dry. These are two PBO colors. This is the orange yellow, which I'm running a little low on. Uh, Aaron, I'm sorry. I saw you ask me before. Okay, Lynn, take care. Thanks for joining. Um, ask me about the Amsterdam paints. They're okay. Um, I prefer the Liquitex uh, basics myself. Um, Come here, Mo. Come on, honey. Mojo's bed. There you go. Stay with Mama. Come on. Mojo's bed. Thank you. And he's out again. <laughs> he wants to go with you. Yeah, just close the door and leave him here. He'll, he'll settle in. So now once I laid the PBOs over there, I'm just going to use the weight of the brayer to roll over and let it pick up the excess paint. You can see it more obvious in the holes when I do that. Mo, come here and lay down with Mommy, honey. Come on. Right, and now let's try this. I always miss the New Year's Eve stream. Um, for those watching on YouTube, the uh, chat group here and all those that stream organize a uh, New Year's Eve extravaganza where they line up and one after the other streams all evening and most of the night, I think. I never get to join that because we always have a New Year's Eve party so here at the house so um oh bye Linda congrats on the win P oh PBO is awesome those Dyna colors let's see what this looks like Sometimes when you mix this, the orange yellow and the green yellow, you get, you can see where it did mix and you get like a bronzy color. The lower, the lower line is more of that bronze color. There's that one. Let me pick up a little bit of this off of there. The 
that one's getting pretty yummy. Patty, I didn't get my invitation to go to the party. It must be hung up in the holiday mail, CB. But I would love you to come. You can even stay here with us. Hang on. I got to grab a... Uh, let me see if I got a bottle of water in the little fridge down here. Stand by. Must rehydrate. And now only beer. <laughs> Damn it. I want my beer. Any water? No water even? How do we not have, we always have cases of water stacked down here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh well, I'll have to suck it up. Power through. <laughs> So now this is pretty mucky, right? But you can see uh, a lot of the shadows of the designs that came before this one layered up in there. So let's do a cleanup. And I want to find a stencil that's really open. That one might be interesting. Oh, let's do one of these. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Well, that one looks that one might look cool. This one's kind of a cool design. So what I'm gonna do, let's see if this is dry. You want these bits to be dry when you do a cleanup print. And a cleanup print is called that because that's what it does. It sucks up all these old crusted up layers of paint off in one fresh pull. Um, come here, Mel. Mojo, come. Come on, stay with Mommy. Lay down here in Mojo's bed. You don't want to be up there when Daddy's working on those big, ugly Christmas lights that are going to buzz and scare you. That's a good boy. <laughs> it's stenciled to my left. Your left is breathing. It's breathing. We do have fun, CB. Last year we bought that game where you put those frames in your mouth that make your lips go way back and your so you can't talk right and then you have to try to relay a phrase to your teammates. That was not pretty. Bye, Jean. All right, I'm putting a thin layer. I use... The color of paint, how I like my men, tight and buff. <laughs> oh, God help me. Uh, tight and buff. It's just off-white, right? I did, rather than doing it just plain white, I like the off-white. And let's put a layer on here. Take some off. It's a little bit too much, as usual. You just want a little layer. Because if you put it on too thick, all you're going to pull off is a layer of the off-white. It's not going to get down. Oh, my God. <laughs> CB, you're talking about those Billy Bob teeth? We just had a 25-year anniversary at the company I work for. And they did all kind of celebrations and stuff. And they put a... They put a video reel up of old photos. I'm watching this thing. And I've been there for 16 years. So I, I recognize I did I knew a lot of the stuff. And I'm watching and watching. And here comes this here comes a picture at one of our sales conferences of me with my Billy Bob teeth in, sitting next to our CEO, sneaking up on him, and him looking around with his eyes like fried eggs as he saw my face. <laughs> he put that damn picture. In the 25 year anniversary video reel, I thought, holy hell, who was picture? Who was pick? Who was choosing the pictures? Like, sweet lord. You know, it's 60 years old. You'd think I'd give them up, but I can't do it. <laughs> okay, Jean. It was not good, CB. <laughs> but where in the hell did they get that? Sure. And 
Ay, ay, ay. All right, so I'm doing a cleanup print, but I'm doing it through a stencil, and you'll see why when I pull those. And I'm um, something, I don't know, infamous, that's one word. So I'm going to really push this down this time because I want that wet layer to marry with that the dry bits on there and suck it all off the plate clean. And then when I pull the stencil up, we'll have the reverse with those same images in there and you'll see, uh, you'll see what I mean. Hang on. Words are escaping me right now. Let me take a little peek, see if it's going to clean it. And it is. So you can see where that's clean now. It picked up everything. But look what's in these, the design. Look at those little bits. And how it sucked all those previous colors and designs and stuff off the plate. All right. Pretty cool. I should have done that on black. Not that smart. Let's do the next one on black which will be the reverse of that. Um, so let me pull this up. And now you see we got all that on the plate. I'm going to do this one on black. And this will show up a lot better on black. And then really... Oh, Xander, sorry to hear that. Your knee's still hurting you. Sheesh. That should be over. You should be done with that. I'm going to lay this one here and pick up the last little bits on the back of this stencil. So that this is as much as I clean my stencils. I just I just put a piece of paper over the wet paint. What it pulls off, it pulls off, and what doesn't doesn't really interfere with anything. And see, there's very little on there. It's dry already. Um, Take a little peek, see if it's sucking all that off of there. And it is. And then see what that looks like. So you get the reverse of this. So if you put these both together, you would have pulled off a whole sheet that would have looked all muted and splotchy and very cool. These are some of my favorites, the cleanups. But that's a cool design. And now you can even see you have a little bit of a shadow, right, to start with the next layer of crusty bits. Groovy. Groovy. Oh, hell. <laughs> that's not groovy. I'm screwing up my whole situation here. Oop. Good Lord. Pay attention, girl. Pay attention. All right. Um, let's try. I wish something I wanted to use. Oh, here we go. These, 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 these. Here we go. These two badasses. I like saying badass. They flushed me out on that last night that I just enjoy saying badass, and I do. Maybe I'm a badass because I like to say badass. I don't know. I'd like to be a badass. Big ass, but I don't know about that now. So, here we go. Let's do a couple of these. These are pretty. Um, do a little bit of that. What's this? Greenish blue. Let's do a little bit of that for something dark. And let's put a little PBO in there. This is the green blue. It's one of my faves. Let's just spin the brayer all around and get it mixed. So um, I'm working on, for next year's Maryland Art Weekend, I'm working on a new thing, a new format, new stuff. 
So once I get it sorted, I will share that. So this one's called Vintage. It's a badass called, uh, the stencil design's called Vintage. It's really pretty lace. Really pretty, pretty. So you can see when you jelly print on Deli, one of the advantages is you can see through it and you can see where you missed the design where the paper didn't go down and lick the paint off the jelly plate yet. So that's kind of helpful. We're in cardstock when you're doing it. It's uh, harder to get through those smaller holes. You gotta really smash the paper in there. Hard on my hand. Not gonna do you doing that right much right now. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. See some of the PBOs, a little shimmer through there. That's pretty. I'm gonna like that. And let's see, what's here's my little my little cleanup sheet here. And if you clean up this stage right here. Then the, the last pickup, once you remove the stencil, you'll get a nice reverse image. So if you got too much still in the holes, like look, all that was still left on the exposed areas. If you got too much of that, you won't get a clean image when you pick this up. Like that. See, now you got the reverse. Isn't that pretty? This should be one of my designs. But it's not. It's badass. Really pretty. And then let me schmutz a little bit of this off on here. I'll make a sandwich. Get this one cleaned off on the back of this. Uh, I'm not ready to uh, share that yet. Um, I don't have it. I don't have anything solid, Gail. Uh, it's still in the works. I've got people to talk to, and I got to look at numbers, and it's not uh, not there yet. Oh, something just touched my foot. I forgot Mojo was under there. I almost screamed. <laughs> Oh, again, attention span of a gnat. Forgot my 110-pound dog is laying underneath of me. Sweet mama. Okay, let's do... That's a happy one. Let's do something bright and happy on that one. That... I don't have much left in here. Let me shake this down. See if I can get any of this orange yellow out of there. I have more. It's so thick that it lays in the tube sometimes I can get another. Oh, look, see? Here it is. Kind of lost the pink there, didn't I? That's okay. That's okay. Now these ones are the badass ones fit right on the plate. That's a nice. Let's do that one on black. I think all that shimmery uh, orange in there will show up nicely. Hi, Pliny. Glad I could make it tonight. Hey, Sarah. How are you? So, I guess I should show this again for those joining later. Holiday 25 is the code for the sale for eye stencils. It's at iStencils.com. 25% off the entire site. Um, if you spend $50 and at least one of those designs is one of mine, um, you'll get this free stencil, which is really cool, and free shipping if you're in the U.S. And in addition to that, if you spend $75, you'll get a free $10 gift certificate that Sherry will send you directly, and it's good for a, a future purchase. It doesn't get applied to this sale. It goes to a future one. Um, and I'm giving away three $15 gift certificates per stream. I already did those at today's stream. So tomorrow, between 1 and 3, 
I'll be doing the last three uh, drawings for those. And Sherry will send those out as well to your email. Ooh. That's a cool design. I'm not a huge orange fan, but anything sparkly I like, so that's good. That's cool, huh? Little sparkle farkle there. Where's my deli I was using for cleanups? Where did you go? There's only, I haven't moved, so how far away could that possibly be? I'll see you with another one. And this I'm just going to put back, oops, I want to make a sandwich. Clean the back of that little bit off of there. It won't be much because it's it was kind of a thin layer of paint, so that's almost dry. Oh, well, we're not. <laughs> the hell do I know? All right, there's the reverse. See the TBO still shimmering. It's a lovely little head off. Let's see if I can pick up any of the wet bits on that. Thanks, Erin. It's a cool one, isn't it? Let's see. What else? What time is it? 12 or I've got a half an hour. Half an hour. This is a cool one. Let's, let's try this one. Um, you know what? Let's try this. Oh, you know what I should have done? Ew. Dumbass, I'll do it next time. Let's just make a, a gray, black, and white mix. And maybe, for shits and giggles, we'll throw in a little of this bluish green. Just a smidge. And let's see what that makes. What exciting mishmash will that make? Probably too much black, but that's okay like a stormy sky at sea. Let's do these like little rock pattern. This is one of the repeatable patterns. Actually, that might be pretty cool. That's kind of cool. I love that kind of a pattern. You'll notice a lot of my my designs are similar. Just kind of an organic uh, rock kind of a thing. Rock, paper, scissors. Sometimes they're the most useful. I mean, this would be a cool background for something. bits of that thrown in a collage here and there. There's the ghost. You can see some of that orange coming up in some of those bits from the previous pull. I love it when it mixes like that. Mama like that. And now let's see what we got there. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to make a, a double decker sandwich. Flip that one over and clean that off on there. And I really like this one too. If anybody wants the numbers of these, let me know. I'll be happy to get them for you, but I don't want to be throwing them out there if, if nobody really wants those. just becomes confusing. There's the reverse with white rocks. That's kind of cool. All right, let's see. There's another one they have that looks just like river rocks. Um, Let's 
3D designs are cool too. Let's do something with that. Shall we? A little bit of that. A little bit of that. Let's throw in a little... little Titan buff. The white was kind of too stark in that last one. Yeah, that's a pretty combination. Have I ever used stencils over clay? Yes. Not that much, but I have I have done it. gonna look like is this that was one of patty's wasn't it no that's an eye stencil um that one that looks kind of like rocks that was an eye stencil i have some that are real similar to that but not yeah similar i'll leave it at similar organic feeling repeated odd shapes <laughs> look at that one look how cool that looks oh man you're freaking me out. <laughs> Mama like those. Now, where the hell did my cleanup go again? I must be putting them over in the pile. I'm going to keep it here in front of my face this time. I'll outsmart myself. Yeah, I've tried using a stencil and then um, stenciling uh, like primary elements over it on clay. And um, I've seen breathing. What are we, what is the breathing? I'm not sure what the breathing means. It looks alive. Alive. It's alive. And here's the opposite side. I'm just going to clean this up. I'm not worried about keeping these for any particular reason. All right. Let's see what else we got in the bag of tricks here. I guess I should be showing more of mine, huh? I'm not that smart. This is a cool one, though. A cool backgroundy one. Just patterns like this. I love those. Let's do, we'll do something for Eileen. Keeping it green. If I can get my hands to work. That's even my good hand. <laughs> That's. Lord. Losing the strength. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's it's alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I see what you mean. What's I going to do? Oh, this one. Let's do this one. Let's do it. Voidical. Voidical. This is just for you, Eileen. Jean's listening, but she won't see this. But Maybe you guys just like green because both your names rhyme with it. Jean and Eileen Green. This one kind of reminds me a little bit of my, my one design I have called Bamboo. Kind of cool with all the um, little shimmery bits flashing at you. Let's put that one over there. I might use that one for something else. Let's try to do a little pickup on this.
just a real faint little bit of that. And let's drag another one of these back. <laughs> she reappeared out of nowhere. That one's just getting to be a blob. But again, a blob with a little pop of black on it makes it a very cool blob. Your birthstone's a diamond, Sarah. I mean, a uh, emerald, Sarah. Mine is a diamond. Oh, darn. My birthstone's a diamond. That's a shame. Um... Let me look for a little interesting papa here. A little papa, where are you? Oh, I love this one. I haven't used this in a while, so I'm going to use it going to cover up a lot of that but oh you know what instead of a papa black maybe we do a papa white on one of these hang on that turned out pretty cool when I did that one time let's see hmm, okay um let's do it <laughs> oh, you know what I wanted to do? Remind me to do an ombre one. Oh, look at that. I was using it with gold. <laughs> How regal. So let's do... You know what? Just for shits and giggles, let's do it on this. On black paper with a little bit of that pickup on there. And I wouldn't have been able to do this a couple weeks ago. <laughs> One handed, maybe. Oh, look at you. That's kind of cool with all those little sparkly bits in the background. Did you get it? Yeah, you got any glue? Yeah, what kind of glue? What do you got? Like super glue. You got that? Like, um, let's see. I got all kind of glue. Hang on, ladies. Um, this is really um, how how much do you need? Like one little drop. bit. Yep. And use that. And that's sticky, but it is really hard glue. Here's this. Does it work? Crazy glue. Yeah. See if that works if it's open. If it's not all jacked up. Jacked up where you can't use the label? Yes. <laughs> and it won't come out. That's possible. Hey, where was I? Oh, okay, here we go. We're looking at this. This one is mine. It's called Cave Etchings. I, this is one of my all-time favorites. That's just me. You don't have to love it, but I do. <laughs> Joan says hi Dave. hi Dave hi Joan he said I don't know if you heard him or not that clean up like nothing came off of there see it dried while I was jibber jabbering with my husband let's try that get that off of there Ooh, that's a mishmash of blech, nothing. One layer too many. 
I'm going to, oh, hell, I gave away my pickup sheet. Let's see if I can get any of this, these bits picked up here. We got to grab more cases of water when we go to the store, huh? I was looking for a bottle down here and we are, I got nothing. Let's see what we got here. This is kind of a cool one. Won't all fit on there, obviously. It might be a cool cleanup one. Um, let's see. What didn't I show you of my new ones? I have a lot. Get these dirty. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. Um. That's probably too much paint blobbed out of here on that one. We're going to blame that on the... Uh, tube. <laughs> oh, damn, I forgot to do an ombre again. Alright. These, this was made with just being able to like you, like you wouldn't want to do a jelly print. I might not want to do a jelly print, I should say, like this. But they can be used for different things on their own. And then you can add scales of different kinds and sizes if you want. I left these open. The other one, other mermaid tails, I did have the scales drawn in. So I'm just trying to mix it up a little. Mermaids! Mermaids everywhere! Pick them up on here. Maybe this will look like seaweed in the background. <laughs> or not. There you go. And the tails and the seaweed. Alright. Um and if you hump up that box of uh, decorations, I'll decorate that bad boy when I get done here. Oh, oh they are? Look at you. You're all right. I don't care what Joan says about you. Oh, Santa, the mermaids for Santa hats? Ah, that's cute. And you used them for crab claws, too. Remember those kind of tails? He used it the weekend this summer for crab claws. A very clever girl. Very clever. What time is it? 15 minutes. Any requests? Let's do a cleanup. Is that dry enough? No. We're going to do it anyway. I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on here because last time I used too much. Just want to skim a little layer on here just so it's wet. And this time, we'll do a whole cleanup page. Let's do it on black. There's a lot of PBO on the plate, so we'll see what happens there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Give it the sniff test, Anne. Here we go. Oh, that's Dave's sister. Call from Jess and Linda. Call Just motion this a little bit more. For the cleanup. And we'll see if it works properly. Here we go. Clean plate. Well, it doesn't look clean because all the crap underneath of it. But it is a clean plate. And there's all the schmutz picked up on here. Which doesn't look like much in this case. But there's some, you know, use it for a background or something. Or put a little pop of black over there and you're cooking. So, um, I wanted to try something before I have to go. I'm pretty sure this is, um... I'm pretty sure this was varnished before I cut it up. Let's try it. Let's try it. What design? Oh, you know what? That swirly design would be pretty on there. There's that. Let's go back to my badass. This one's called Chaotic. Let's try it down here. This is that lunar blue. Look how that breaks up. I love that color. Okay. Let's see here. I do not think this is going to work. Let me see. Nope. It's coming off the stencil. Nope. It's varnished. Well, one thing I can say about that varnish, works pretty darn good. I wonder if the alcohol inks, if that comes off with a baby wipe. I don't think so, but let's try. Nope, that's cleaning the stencil, but it's not coming off um, of the alcohol inks. Didn't phase it. <laughs> Let's do, let's add some alcohol to that. Let's do this. Let's see what happens just doing this. Oh, look at it all balling up underneath of there. See what it's doing? As alcohol ink does to, or alcohol does to alcohol inks, it's all kind of bubbling up. All right, let's try something here. I would much rather do experiments than demos. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh Let's try to pick it up that way. Of course, I never write them down, so it's hard for me to repeat anything. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. Ooh, I bet that's going to work. Ooh, that did work. Looky there. That's alcohol ink on uh, Upo paper. And I sprayed alcohol through a stencil and then blotted it with a paper towel. So that didn't work. Can you guys hear my husband on the phone upstairs in another room? <laughs> He's a loud talker. <laughs> Bless his heart. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. I wanted to make some more alcohol ink ornaments. Um, I was trying to think of how I could do that and incorporate some stencils, but that ain't going to work. Because they're small and round and these are not. I, um, I would never get a clean imprint on anything. Um, but, um, maybe I'll make some later tonight. We painted upstairs, as many of you may know already, and my whole color scheme has changed from, um, 
what I've had in previous years. So my Christmas tree doesn't really match my room anymore. I had all red and gold on it. And now, um, anyone know the actual size of badass stencils? They're all different sizes. Um, Beanie, they, um, because of the shapes of them, they're really different, but hang on. Let me, well, look, this is an eight by 10 jelly plate, right? So I would say this stencil is just a smidge over eight by 10. It's only hanging off a little bit here and there, right? See those little round bits? The design all fits on an eight by 10, but her stencils are all, uh, they're different. They're, you know, depending on the shape. Now these are all in the same packaging. So these are probably all close to eight by 10, although this one looks longer. It is. This one comes off the edge. This one's taller than 8 by 10. But this one can be cut apart. See the little tabs in there where you'd have to cut that if you wanted it apart? But, um, you know, and this one, here's this edge. This one hangs off about here. So, the one with the lace, let me find that one for you. It's long. Maybe a little longer than the, uh, here it is, hold on. So here's the 8x10 jelly plate. Here's this right on the edge of it. And just this little bit hangs off where you wouldn't want to use this nameplate of it anyway. But just that little bit hangs off. So it's um, probably, oh, where's my ruler? At the widest point... It's like seven and seven eighths, no, seven and three quarters at the widest point from here to here, this widest tip. And uh, lengthwise, the design itself is 10 and a half, if that helps you. Yeah, and then like these, the, um, hang on, let me grab these. these hot wings that she calls them um you know it's kind of hard to measure but this one is overall seven and a half inches all right and pretty much all of these will be the same yeah seven and a half that one's yep seven and a half and then these little guys the stencil itself from the design part of the stencil is four and three quarters from here from here to the bottom of the plastic but this little design in here is two and a quarter inches wide but they're all cut the same like they're all cut off the same piece size plastic so hopefully that'll give you some help and uh Oh, I didn't use this one. I wanted to use this one. I love this one. I'm going to print one more print. This is how it happens. One more. Just one more. This is a badass. And it is badass. You guys are right. I just like saying... Oops, hello. I just like saying it. And this just has a number on it. If anybody's interested in the number, I will be happy to share it. Um, I'm going to do my favorite colors. You can't stop me. Right, they're good, like the small ones, those little um, BAMs, they're called, will be great for ATC cards or any kind of greeting card, you know. Um, little poiple, a little bit of this. Good Lord, he talks loud. Love him to death, but <laughs> Ooh, he's a loud talker. Bless his heart. Let's put a little schmitz of shine in there. That's going to be too much paint. I'm just going to do this and rid myself of that headache right now. Damn it, I still didn't do an ombre one. Somebody remind me tomorrow to do ombre prints, please. Oh, Lordy. Scary. Getting scary with the forgetfulness, I got to tell you.
a little spooky. Dave just looks at me and grins. <laughs> like lately, I've repeated like the same thing like four times in one day, and he'll just look at me and grin. I was really. <laughs> so what are you talking about? He said, "Babe, that's like number four, fourth time you told me that." Oh, that one laid down crooked. Crap. Crappity crap crap. Oh, shit. Now it flipped over. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Darn it. Um, I don't know if that was the stencil or my nimble fingers not working properly. They are, whenever any, any, ugh, any time a stencil's cut in a spiral like that, they are really tricky to handle because if you put the little tabs that holds the swirls in place, that interrupts the designs. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> At least Denise likes my favorite color. Oh, look, stuck to the. Hello. Work with me. Work with me. Oh, this color combination is cool, though. I don't care what anybody says. Denise and I like it. See the little shimmer in there? Let's clean that up a little bit. Let's do this. Clean out the holes. Got a little shadow on there. And let's This I'm not going to use for much, so let's just do this. Let's. I don't know. I might. That's really cool, actually. Maybe, I'm, maybe when it's not all a loss. Hang on. Yeah, that's a pretty good com kind of combination. So let me. Clean that off. Let's clean this off. Works better when I just drop it. <laughs> it is a slinky. Yeah, it's um. <laughs> like hours of fun but I do like me some spirals gotta tell you just cleaning it up look at that PBO in there hello lover all right kids that brings me to the top of the hour and I'm gonna go decorate a Christmas tree maybe come back later and make some more alcohol ink balls so thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I'll close out with this image. So everybody has the information they need. Holiday 25 is the code. You can follow me on social media anywhere. You'll see this posted if you forget what you get and when you get it. So I'm going to sign off. Let me stop my video and name it. So bye-bye YouTube.